ladies, it's Rebecca. I hope you're having a great day. Guess what? Spring finally came to the South. We have been waiting on spring for a long, long month. So it's finally here. Our temperatures today is 61. I think the high is supposed to be like 67. So I thought today would be a great day that we could go back over our spring and summer wardrobe basics and 2024 edition. It doesn't change from 2023. We'll just get, cause you use the same ones every year, but we just need to be reminded once a year about what basics we need. Cause if you have these basics, then you can pull together any outfit. You can make any outfit modest. You just need these basics and you can wear these by themselves and make many, many outfits. I'm going to post a picture here of the list. This is the list we'll be going by, and then I will insert pictures to show you examples of what I'm talking about. These will be items off of Amazon, but remember to always shop your closet first. I have a, most of these I have gotten for myself from Goodwill or thrift stores. So you just need to be on the lookout, but this is just so you know what to look for when you're out shopping. And if you don't want to go to Goodwill or you don't want to go to a thrift store, I've put links in the, in the description so you can just, if you want to get them that way. So without further ado, let's go through our list. Our first thing is going, we're going to talk about is the tops. So for our tops, you will need I'm going to look at my list. I've got my list too, so I'll be looking down a little bit. You're going to need a white button down. I don't have a white button down, but that's what one thing that I'm looking for. If I come across one, I'll get it, but I don't think I would wear one enough that I would uh, just to go buy one to keep it in the closet. Because if you don't wear it in your closet, you don't need it in your closet. And here's an example of a white button down. The next thing you'll need is a white cotton top or a blouse. Just remember keeping, all these are going to be neutral things. So these will help complement your other outfits. So you need a white top or a white blouse. I'll insert a picture here to show you what I'm talking about, a white blouse. The next thing you need is a white silky or elegant blouse. Just something that will update it. I'll insert a picture of my favorite one that I found on Amazon. I have not ordered it yet because I keep thinking I'm going to find this in Goodwill somewhere, but I haven't yet. But I've got it in my cart on Amazon just in case I don't find it. Maybe I'll order it. The next thing on our list is a black and white, just basic tee. Because you never know when you just need that basic tee, when you've got something on the got a lot of designs to it and you just need something solid underneath it if you're wearing a jean skirt that's got some things on it and you need or you have a jean jacket that's got some sparkly things on it you just need something plain then you need a black and white t-shirt they come in pairs on amazon the next thing you're going to need is a black and white cami or tank and I say black and white, it also would probably include an ivory or an off-white because I tend to wear my ivory or off-white just as much as I do my white and black. And if you cannot find, if you go to the thrift store and you can't find a, a tank or a cami, just buy a t-shirt and cut the sleeves out. My black tank that I wear all the time came from Goodwill that I just cut the sleeves out. But a black and a white cami or off-white cami also, you can take anything and make it modest. So if you had a wraparound dress, you could put that cami un or that tank underneath that and brings the neckline up and you've got a decent, you've got a modest outfit or anything like that. Uh, anything that was a plunging neckline, put that cami or that tank underneath there and it will just make it modest. Also on the camis and the tanks, I would suggest more of a tank because sometimes camis, unless they have the adjustable straps, they tend to be really, really low cut. So I would suggest probably more so the tank. And if you find a tank 
that's still too low in the front, just wear it backwards. Cut the tag out and wear it backwards. And it'll be up where you need it to be because I do that a lot. Because if it's too low, just flip it around and you'll be fine with the bodice. The next thing on the list for tops is two printed or solid blouses. So you need something kind of neutral. Two printed or solid blouses. I would say go with one solid blouse and one printed blouse. And also, this may override that white blouse that you need, so you may not need two, but if you can find another one that's kind of neutral, pop it in here. That's, that'll, that'll take care of that. So that wraps up everything for their tops. Our next category is dresses and skirts. And the first thing on our list is a white and black dress. And what I would suggest on your white and black dresses is that they be straight a-line and just very plain because you're going to be adding onto this this is just going to be a base layer for you to add on things so if you had a black dress jacket would go with that and you've got an outfit or you could wear a denim jacket or you could wear a cardigan or you could just wear like a shirt as like a jacket on top of there it's just so versatile you really need a white and black dress as basics for your closet. The next thing on our list is a printed or solid summer dress. Okay, the next thing you need is a black skirt. I have a problem with black skirts. I have way too many black skirts, but I don't think you can have too many black skirts. So, but for your basics, you need a midi, which is below between the knee and the ankle. That's midi or a maxi, which is goes to your ankle. The style, the trends for the summer is more maxi, so that you would want, probably go with that one first. If you were looking for just one black skirt, I would go with a maxi. Also on our list, you need a white or off-white, meaty and maxi skirt. That sounds like you don't need two, but you could just get away with one, just pick one, but having two, will help change your style. An optional on my on this list is a denim skirt. I usually don't wear denim uh, just because I don't like the way they fit my body type. So if you have a denim skirt or like to wear denim skirts, that is part of the basics. Okay, now we're gonna talk about accessories. That's the next thing in our, on our list is accessories. You need a silk or a dressy scarf. I'll throw in an example here of something you can wear. Uh, it totally changes an outfit. A scarf will totally change an outfit. You can have that black basic dress or that white basic dress, put a scarf on it and a belt. You have a whole outfit. This one little scarf will change an outfit. And I'll tell you a little secret that I do when I cruise. I'll carry like one black dress. And I'll probably wear that dress probably three times that week. And then I just change the scarves out. They don't know me. I just hang it up when I get through and spree for breeze it and let it hang. And I mean, you're only wearing it long enough to go to the dining room and back. So that saves a whole lot of room packing. So that's a pat little short packing trip. Short little packing tip. Another thing on my list is you need a statement, a statement accessory, which could be a brooch. I love wearing brooches. Uh, my mom was loved wearing brooches, so I, I love her brooches. And not everybody likes to wear brooches, and that's okay. But it's not a necessary. It's just optional. It just will jazz up an outfit. Like if you've got a black blazer on. And you put that pin on, that brooch on, I just, it just elevates it. This makes it look so beautiful. I just, I'm obsessed with brooches. I love them. Another thing on my list for accessories is black or brown sunglasses. You really don't need both. I have both, but you really don't need both. But, I mean, sunglasses is an accessory. You don't have to have it, but I like to, sometimes it will just pull off that outfit and make it look 
feel really good with just those sunglasses on, make it look so cool. And I'll insert here some sunglasses that's on Amazon that's really affordable. And I think these they, these come in a two-pack with black and brown sunglasses, so that's even better. The next thing on our list is a reversible belt. And I'll list, I'll put a picture here of what I'm talking about. So if you need a belt, if you that you only have to have one in your closet if it's reversible. My reversible belt, I wear it constantly because it is so easy to snap that buckle around. And I got it at a thrift store for a dollar. But you know, you could you don't want to thrift, you can find them on they're on Amazon. Our next category is outerwear and bags. So the first thing you need is the perfect black blazer. And when I say the perfect black blazer, it's one that fits you well, that covers what you want to cover, that you feel like the boss. When you put that jacket on, that black jacket on, you feel like a million bucks. And I found mine at Goodwill, and it's a very good brand. And, and, and it just makes you feel so, more, so elevated to wear that, just that basic black blazer. And you can wear it with so many things, and you can make so many outfits with just that black blazer. Black blazers are subject to your body type, because I'm real short-waisted, so I like a shorter jacket. If you have a long torso, you might want a longer jacket. So you just got to get out there and try some on and see what works best for your body type. Another thing you need is a white jacket or a white blazer. I have I have a white blazer. I don't wear as much as my black blazer, but I do wear it quite often. And that's another thing that if you put it on, it feels good, and you feel great if you feel that. That white blazer will pull together an outfit with that pin or a scarf. I don't think I'd wear a scarf and a pin. I think I'd pick one or the other. So, but that's another thing you really need to get outside probably and try on or order a few different types, styles, and see which fits your body type the best because you want it to fit just perfect because if you don't fit you for your season, and you, you won't wear it. So you'll just, it'll just stay in your closet. So you need perfect white and black blazers. Another thing that I think we all need is a denim jacket. It could be a dark washed, it could be a light washed, it could be a, a white denim. You just need a denim jacket because that is such good for casual outfits. I don't wear denim skirts, but I wear denim jackets all the time. I think it makes a casual outfit just look even just more polished to wear that jacket. Now optional, I don't know how long I would be I have this, but I don't know how long I'll be wearing this into the spring and summer, but more so spring than summer because you would burn up. It's a leather jacket. This is optional, but it would, it, it does elevate your outfit if you have a leather jacket on. But I'm going to tell you, in the South, we don't wear leather jackets in the summer. It's just way too hot. But for the spring, it would be not. Leather jackets would be nice, and leather jackets would be a really good piece to have in the spring. The next thing on our list is a black, brown, or neutral crossbody or shoulder bag. So if you have a neutral shoulder bag that will go with anything, I don't really like to change purses. I'm I'm terrible at changing purses. That I don't change purses to match every outfit. So I have a tan purse. It's my summer purse. I have a black purse, that's my winter purse. So I spend a little bit more money on those, but that's all I use. And so I get my money's worth because that's all I wear. The next thing on our list is a brown neutral tote bag. So if you don't, you need a crossbody for when you're out and about shopping, or if you're on vacation, you just need that crossbody, or you just need to get out of the car real quick and you don't want to worry with a tote bag. You know, you could, uh, or a shoulder bag or big bag, you could just get that crossbody. But, you, you know, some people like tote bags. So, just get a neutral tote bag. Um, white, tan, black. But don't forget, shop your 
closet, Shocker Goodwill. You may already have these in your closet. You just don't ever think about. So that wraps up everything on our outerwear and bags. Our next category is shoes and sandals. The first thing on the list is we need black, nude, or metallic mules or flats. So you're not going to wear heels every day. So you need a good pair of flats or a pair of mules or, or loafers, something that, you know, because every day for me is not a heel day and I can't wear tennis shoes to church. So it's great to have these in your closet so you can pull them out and these will go with anything. Black, nude, or metallic will go with any outfit that you can that you have. So you would you'd be covered if you had those. Everybody can't wear pumps, but if you can, you need a good black pair of pumps or wedges or if you because some people can't wear pumps. The trend now is kitten heels, so a black pair of kitten heels. I prefer pointed toe shoes. That's just my preference because they elongate your leg and they make you look taller because I'm short, I'm five one. So I need all the height I can get. And especially if you're wearing flats or kitten heels, you're even shorter. You know, you're just, so you gotta have something to trick the eye. The next thing on our list is a pair of statement heels or pumps. For me, my statement heels are this fabulous pair of red pumps. They look great. And right now the trend is to pop in a color of red when you can on your outfit. So that's my pop of color of choice. So I'll put an example here of what I'm talking about. The next thing on our list is nude or metallic sandals. These will go with anything. A pair of sandals that are gold or metallic or silver, just they will look so cute. And they will go with a denim skirt with some the, 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 the gold sandals and a, oh, it would, you could just make it work. It'd be so cute. I'll show, and I'm going to insert here a picture of some sandals that I'm talking about. Also, you need a pair of black sandals because it gets hot in the south and we need sandals. So find you a good pair of sandals. Uh, it could be comfortable comfort sandals. Uh, that's what I would, that's what I have. They're sodas, but uh, I wear them a lot and they go with anything. I do have a pair of gray ones or kind of silver ones that I just wear. I back, go back and forth with those. And those are my like everyday casual sandals. But if everybody needs a pair of black sandals, I'll insert a picture here of what I'm talking about. The next thing on the list is comfortable walking shoes. You need, if you can wear tennis shoes, you can wear, I prefer Merrell's. That's my prefer. I would, when we, when we cruised, I didn't even take tennis shoes because my Merrells are so comfortable that I just walked everywhere in my Merrells because they are just so much more comfortable than tennis shoes. But either you need a good pair of walking shoes in your closet. I'll insert a picture of some tennis shoes and I'll also insert a picture of the Merrells that I wear. The tennis shoes, if you get the white, they would look so cute with a black dress and a denim jacket and or either just a dress like I, I that's the trend now just to wear they call them uh trainers <laughs> that's the uk version i could even tell what youtube people i watch uh anyway the trainers or we call them white tennis shoes here uh it, you need a pair of those in your closet or a pair of comfortable shoes optional is a pair of rain boots I don't have a I don't have a pair of rain boots only because my Merrells are waterproof. So unless the water is over my ankles, I'm okay. So that's why my mine do double DD because they're waterproof. So I'm I'll insert a picture here of some rain boots if just so you can see. That wraps up our shoes and sandals category. The next category is undergarments. So I probably won't be flashing pictures up on this one because this one you got to figure out for yourself. So the first thing you need is a black and nude underwire or support bra. Support bra. 
if you don't like the underwear, just make sure you're supported. Support those girls. That's all you need. It's a black and nude. That'll keep you the whole summer and the whole winter. You can just wash it. I mean, you need more than one probably, but if you just had those two, a good one that fits, you got to go try them on. You, unless you just know what you wear, you got you need to go to the store and try them on and make sure that they fit and that they flatter you and that you don't have stuff hanging out the side. You have, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all see, y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyway, that's a fun one. So the next thing you need is a black and a nude half slip. But they're hard to come by, but I did find some on Amazon. And according to the length of your skirt, that's what you would what would you would get. I would get one that's kind of, you know, midi. So that would cover the long skirts and the midi skirts. And optional, I'm going to repeat, this is optional. You need some spanks or shapewear. This is optional. You don't like, if you don't like shapewear, this is optional. I feel better in a good pair of spanks. That just makes me feel better. And if it makes me feel better, nobody else knows I got them on. It just makes me feel better. So I have a pair that I wear. That's my basics. That's my everyday Sunday. Also optional is some neutral or opaque tights. Normally in the summertime, I don't wear hose. I don't wear tights. Occasionally I might wear a pair of black pantyhose. That's about as, and then on a Sunday or something like that when I'm, I don't know. I don't, I, I really don't wear them a lot. I can't remember the last time in the summer that I even wore tights, period, much less in the hot summertime because in Mississippi, it's hot. So that's our list. All of this is going to be in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you learned something. And I wanted to give a shout out to our Facebook group that we have. It's called Apostolic Modest Fashion. And it was called Apostolic Fashion for Apostolic Ladies, but I shortened it. And y'all, we have 2,500, 2,500 members already. And I, it just blows my mind. And, and we have such a good group of ladies and they're supportive. And if you have questions or if you have things in your closet that you're willing to sell, Put it on Marketplace, put it on Mercari, put it on Poshmark, share it to the group. I'll approve it. And so it'll go out to a more wider audience of those of us that need modest clothes. And we may not have time to go sit and look at Poshmark or Mercari or things like that to find something modest. So it helps if we already have that listing. So, and there may be some small businesses that that that's what you do is you have modest clothing please please share it to the group we need to find outlets for modest clothing everybody can't go to thrift stores everybody can't afford amazon so we need we need options and so thank you from the bottom of my heart for those that are already members and i'll put a link below it's a private group, so it's a safe place, and I, I keep it moderated very well, so nobody that shouldn't be in there won't be in there, so just know it is a safe place. And also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, then I would love for you to consider subscribing because it supports our modest lifestyle. It helps the algorithms. It helps people see that we need more content like this. I know when I'm approving people to join our Facebook because you go through a screening, you have to answer some questions. I do see a few people that have found us on YouTube and I'm so excited. That just makes me so excited. So I'd love for you to consider subscribing and like the channel and share it with your friends. And we're just so happy that you're here. I'm going to do some a video montage of different outfits that you can put together with just these basics. And you'll be surprised if you just had these things on this list, how many outfits you can get just from this list. It, you wouldn't need to buy anything else. I mean, you want to buy something else. Have your basic wardrobe, and then you, you can go from there. But first, you need to get the basics because, like I say, it'll turn anything into a modest outfit. So, 
Anyway, all right, that's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me. And just remember, it doesn't matter what number, what letter is on the tag of your blouse or your skirt. It only matters what's inside. And another thing, it's springtime. It's time to clean our closets out and be very mindful of what you put in there. Put back in your closet. It needs to be what you could wear now in your closet. Doesn't mean you have to give it away. Just put it in a box somewhere where you can get to it or you could give it away, but just put it, put it in a box and then only have things in your closet that make you happy. So when you walk to your closet, you can open your closet and everything fits. And you don't have to sit there and wonder, oh, I got a fan of my outfit and you put on three different tops and none of them fit. Just go start from scratch. Take everything out of your closet. Start with the basic checklist. Put those things back in. Things that fit for your season right now and that make you feel good and that make you happy. That's what you need in your closet. Because if it doesn't make you feel good or doesn't make you happy, then you're not gonna wear it and it's gonna be stuck in your closet for another year. Just saying. All right, I've talked enough. Okay, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day and God bless. Thank you.